Welcome to the uh, lesson today. Once again, I'm in quiet mode. Okay, so I've got my amp cranked right down. I've set it just below the level of the camera, tapping on it here, facing up towards the microphones on the camera so that you can still hear it. Everybody else remains minimally annoyed at what I'm doing. Okay, because sometimes it's not the most popular choice to be doing this at uh, 20 past 10 at night while everyone's trying to sleep. But I've been busy plumbing all day, would you believe it? I've been fixing up the, uh, the heating system in my house, removing all the old cast iron pipe and putting in copper pipe, which is a messy, messy job. And, uh, and uh, by the time I got around to doing this, well, it's 20 past 10 at night. So here we are. Now, what I'm going to do today with you is I'm going to amp up a major scale. What we're going to do is take a standard A major three note per string scale. Probably the most common scale played these days, the old A, uh, three note per string scales. Yeah, no one seems to play the old uh, the old style anymore. And there's, there's not uh, many people doing the old four notes, including me. Um, anymore, most uh, most of the things these days revolve around the three note string scale. So what we're going to do with our scale is we're going to add a note with our right hand on each string. Now A major has the notes A B C sharp D E F sharp and G sharp in the uh, scale. We're going to add notes with our right hand that are in the scale. So on the E string I'm going to add the E, which is the 12th fret. On the A string I'm going to add the A, which is the 12th fret. On the D string I'm going to add the C sharp, which is the 11th fret. On the G string I'm going to add the F sharp, which is the 11th fret. On the B string I'm going to add the B, which is the 12th fret. And on the high E string I'm going to add the E, which is the 12th fret. It's a very, very simple uh, thing to do. It's a very simple start for this kind of idea. We can explore this uh, quite a lot. So, once again, here it goes. When I go up, when I ascend from low to high, I pick a note. And I start with the first note on each string, on each string, which is my first finger. Pick, pick. When I come down, I pick a single note. Okay, so you can uh, you can work that up and you can play around with it. Of course, you can do it any of the uh, the modal positions in the major scale. You can do it with Dorian. You know what? Every time I make one of these videos, a goddamn bus goes way up out the front, and it doesn't matter. When I make a video, bus. At least they're regular, right? At least they're running. So where are we, Dorian? That's the Dorian. That's the Dorian. And it sounds pretty cool, and you know what? I think it's just dead easy. Now, it may not sound dead easy if you don't play like that, um, but it really, really is. It's uh, just groups of nine notes. Uh, have a listen again. One, two, three, four.
Yep. Okay, very, very easy to do. And you know, it's one of these things you can expand on lots and lots. It's not really limited to uh, just what I played then. Uh, and so is the case with, uh, with everything that I'm trying to give you here.